I just gave an Alzheimer's talk and somebody asked me, does SIBO increase the incidence of Alzheimer's? And I said, I will check with you, but my understanding was no, correct me if I'm wrong. However, it dramatically, precipitously, if you will, increases the incidence of SIBO with Parkinson's disease. That's just what I was going to say. <laughs> and it's about a 46% increase. So, I mean, I, I think I know the answer, but why Parkinson's and not Alzheimer's? You know, I haven't looked closely to see if there's any new articles on linking Alzheimer's and SIBO. But what I, what I do know about Parkinson's is that where all the research has been going is that it, they're thinking it's gut caused, right? It's, a, it's originating in the gut and SIBO is very common and SIBO can lead to Parkinson's. We do know that. And also just clinically, a thing to point out is that Parkinson's doesn't just happen to people who are elderly, right? This is a right. thing we all have to remember. What is one of the first symptoms of Parkinson's? Constipation. Right. So in a middle aged or younger person, don't just ignore constipation, do a little digging and check and make sure that these are not early signs of Parkinson's.